welcome back to the channel it's your boy red eye ride back with another video and in this video we're going to talk about what makes the hellcat special and that's something that's not special so you might hear that time and time again but we're going to talk about um just some interesting facts about the hellcat let's get to it the first interesting fact we all know that hell hellcats are uh oh they have the 6.2 liter engine in it right v8 engine um originally it started it came out at 707 horsepower 707 horsepower that thing again um and then they had the red eye that came out with you know the 797 horsepower and then you got the the, the jailbreak um in the last calls that i think it's 810 810 horsepower or something like that making it you know one of the fastest production muscle cars ever made in history ever made in history and that's one reason why everybody wants to get these damn hellcats that is one reason that sound is not it but this is what what, what i'm telling you is one of the reasons as to why the thing is the challenger hellcat has a top speed of 199 whereas the red eye has a top speed of over, I think it's like 203 miles an hour. 203 miles an hour it tops out at. It is one of the fastest top end speed production muscle cars in history. Come on, come on. This is why everyone's going nuts about these cars. You have it. That's driving me nuts. Let me go ahead and turn the car off. because. Sometimes I just gotta, I, I gotta pray for this car, man. I just gotta pray. Um, but the third thing is, you know, when it comes to the Hellcat platform, um, it's a little, it's like aesthetics, right? You get two keys, you get red key, you get two red keys and a black key when you buy the car. Um, if you got somebody who's like, like happy keeping their foot in the, in the, in the engine or in a gas pedal, you can give them the black key. That reduces the power, whereas the red key unleashes all potential power, and you can really like get to that 200 plus miles per hour. The next interesting fact about these cars is you can get them narrow body or you can get them wide body. Uh, the wide body increases from the narrow body by three and a half inches wider. We get wider tires. It gives like just just mean muscle looking like look and nasty aggressive look and it improves the handling whether you believe it or not you may not think so and yeah we know that the handling of these cars aren't what you know a Subaru or any of these other cars that can handle curves very well is but it does very well for the weight and power that it puts down don't sleep on a Hellcat when it comes to handling if you like fast obviously you got the speeds of 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds let me double check let me make sure I fact check that yeah, 3.4 seconds, despite the size and weight. Now, that is pretty fast for a heavy car. It's very heavy. I'm just fact-checking here. I'm looking down, just making sure that I'm not misspeaking when it comes to this. Yeah. As, well, as advertised, it says as little as. As fast as. So, don't jump in this car trying to do a zero to 60 saying that why am i not getting the 3.4 i mean that's probably that's probably going to be in like perfect conditions probably some weight reduction the best tires the pavement the time of day the heat the cold there's so many factors that that play a part into you know your car really performing very well when you're chasing numbers like that and when i tell you you have to get that to a t to get those numbers it's really a math not even math it's a science to it so let's go ahead and jump on to the next thing this is my favorite number six it comes with line lock and launch control what stock car from the showroom floor production is letting you launch 797 horsepower from a line at the drag strip dodge has seriously done some interesting things with these cars outside of you know the interior it's been the same forever we're not going to talk about that we're talking about that in another video my likes and dislikes 
But they have done a really, 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 really good job about, you know, allowing someone straight from the showroom floor, you know, out to the drag strip. Um, a good friend of mine, Demonology, he got the Demon 170 and he jumped straight. He bought the car, went straight to the strip and he was spanking a lot of booties, you know, with that damn car stock. Now, when we say stock is from showroom floor right obviously it has e85 so you know a little built trans and all that different stuff from the dealership but um it's still a stock car because he personally hasn't done anything to it so it's stock from the dealership straight from the manufacturer but how the lot and lock works is you know it's a feature in here where you can engage it um and you hold the okay button and while you hold the okay button it'll lock the front tires and you gotta do is smash the gas and it'll spin the back tire. So it, it enables it disables the braking system in the rear so the tires can spin and you're not killing warping your rotors and killing your brakes. The reason why, you know, I find the red eye interesting and one of the reasons why I actually went with the red eye is because of the the, the demon connection. Most of the parts on this car is the demon parts. There's not many other parts that's not demon. The only thing that isn't the demon is the blower. And I think the block. I think the block. Don't quote me on that. But I think the block. But primarily it's the blower. The demon blower. And a few other little tweaks to the tune and things like that is what makes the demon the demon. So I felt like the power the demon was getting isn't that much significant than the power that I'm getting with my red eye and I'm just a tune away from you know and I don't and when I say tune I mean literally going in and getting the tune probably some spark plugs and injectors and I'm blowing that demon you know stock out the window you know what I mean like so it a couple hundred versus a couple hundred a couple tens of thousands you know more to get the demon versus just having this just made the most sense realistically when it comes to you know what you can get you know as far as the bang for your buck so that's why i went with the red eye because again a lot of people don't understand that the red eye is a baby demon it is a baby demon not the baby demon 170 but the baby demon you know and then now you got the gel breaks that's just as fast as the demon at this time so Red Eye, Baby Demon, you got Jailbreaks, Last Call, Demon, Challenger. So technically, it's they're pushing out the same kind of power. The Demon just comes with the drag pack and all that other good stuff. So just be mindful of you know, what it is and what it isn't when it comes down to these cars. Right. Here's the favorite topic in the car community. The hefty curb weight of these cars. We're talking about 4,400 pounds. We're out here competing against cars that are like 3,000 pounds and still doing that. Yeah. 4,000 pounds. 4,400 pounds versus a 3,000 pound car. 3,500 pound car, whatever it may be. It's still not as heavy and we're still doing what we're supposed to do can you imagine if we shed some weight what these cars not even imagine just go on youtube and and google some videos my bad all this talking makes my mouth a little dry but anyway so that's like one of the number one arguments in the car community is the fact of the, the weight of these cars and that's another deterrent for a lot of people in the car community, too, because a lot of people don't want the car because of, you know, the weight. But I know they all want this car. I don't care what you say. They will take it. Absolutely. They can say what they want to say, but I can guarantee you they will take it. Yes. And let's go into the next one. One of my favorite topics about this car how affordable this car is compared to the power that it the output of power this is insanely affordable 
compared to other vehicles that are pushing out this same kind of power. You have people who are building cars for this power, who's spending more than what this car has cost, and guess what? This car comes with a warranty with this power. You cannot beat that. And that's another thing in the car community. They say, oh, you still have your warranty. Well, yeah, I have 797 horsepower to the crank with a freaking warranty. You go get one. You go get one. If anything happens, I can take my car back. Anything within the right way of doing things, something happens, you know, you can take your car to the dealership and get it serviced, you know, under warranty. Obviously, these days it doesn't work like that too much, but, you know, it's always worth the try. But, yeah, um, it's just affordable, man. You know, we're talking about for a narrow body Hellcat, especially today, you can probably get one for like $65,000. A red eye, you can probably get one for eighty-five to eighty-nine thousand dollars. I mean, it's really affordable. We're talking about seven hundred ninety-seven horsepower for a red eye, seven hundred seven for you know um, the regular Hellcat, and then you know you got the Last Call and Jailbreak and all those other different models um, that provides even more power than you know the stock. Hellcat and stock red eye. I feel like when I say stock, those are the first two that came out. Then you have the other ones. Those are like a little bit more modded up, in my opinion. But you have those. So that's what makes it a little different and makes it so affordable. You really can't get... If you go Mustang and try to get a car with this kind of power, you get your GT500 brand new. You're probably looking at... I don't want to, you know, maybe like $90,000 or something like that. But again, that's not giving you $700. I think it might give you like $750, maybe, maybe not. Hey, Siri, how much power does a Shelby GT500 Mustang make? I'm about to find out. The Shelby GT500 produces 760 HP. Oh, 760. 67 kW. 771 PS and 625 LBFT 847. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. We get it. We get it. We get it. So yeah, I lied. The Shelby is up there. Um, 760. But again, look how much more power you're getting for less. And them Shelbys are definitely more expensive than these Hellcats. I can promise you that. I can promise you that. So again, you know, when considering. When considering, just understand how affordable it is compared to all these other cars that, you know, you have some McLarens out there that's only pushing out 650, 690, you know. Obviously, it's about half the weight of the Hellcat. We get it. 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 I get it. But it doesn't change the fact that, you know, we're looking at a car that's like, damn there, you know, you can get one from maybe 170. And I say 170, I'm being very generous, but most likely in the 200,000 range for a decent one with some decent speed with the nice specs, the performance specs. So let's go ahead and head over uh, to the last one, man. Um, I think the last one that comes to mind is, you know, even though these cars are being stolen left and right, they're collectibles. Um, Dodge has chosen to discontinue you know, making the gas cars, which I, I call cap on that. I, I call cap on that. I don't think they're going to do that. But for right now, they're saying that they're no longer going to make any more. They've been saying that for the last probably like two, three years. Um, so it becomes a collectible item, right? Because you have a car that's pushing out, you know, this kind of power, significant amount of power in your garage, just waiting to be started, to waiting to be turned on ready to be turned up so again it, it 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 definitely is a collectible for me you know the car looks good it drives good it's super reliable the engine's super durable i mean like why wouldn't you want a hellcat why wouldn't you want a hellcat let me know in the comments why you wouldn't want a hellcat outside of the people stealing them don't come in my comments talking about the stealing part. We all know that your car could be gone in how fast it took from 0 to 63.4. Your car could be gone in 2.4.
you know, right in front of your house. So, yeah, we know why people won't get it. But let's take that piece out of it and talk specifically about, you know, the engine, the power, performance, line lock, affordability, um, you know, the options between the different bandwidths of power, you know, from 707 to 815 to now 1,000 horsepower for the Demon 170, you know, getting a baby Demon, getting a Demon. There's just so many trims to this car that just makes it all worth the while. And wait a minute. I ain't even mentioned a Trackhawk. It's not a Dodge. It's a Jeep. But we have the same exact drivetrain. When it comes down to it. Obviously maybe not the drive shaft. But same engine. Let's say that. We're going to stay there. Same engine. You know same kind of performance. And things like that. So I mean. And then the Durango. You got the Durango. Like it, it's. Dodge has really 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 made it interesting to drive these cars. They made it really interesting to want to have these cars. It makes it interesting if you a family man and just want your family in it, you can get the Hellcat Durango. You know, if you're a, a person that likes to, you know, a beach bum, get you a Jeep, your Grand Cherokee. Put some big tires on there. You can go do that. You know, you can go off-roading in that, right? You you can definitely do that. Then you have the TRX with another car, a truck with a Hellcat engine in it. Now, out of all of them, that's the slowest one. I don't recommend getting the TRX, honestly. It's not worth it in any way shape or form for real for real power that you know unless you go ahead and get some more extra work done to it stay away from the trx um i think that's it and then you got the Charlie, you got the charger and then that's that so again um there's a reason why these cars are being stolen there's a reason why these cars are being swapped there's a reason why everybody's getting the hellcat that is all for this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bells on. But more importantly, like the video. Don't stand here and look at me, but like the video, please. Man, I'm Red Eye Rod. I'm out. Talk to you in the next one. Oh, wait. Day four. This is the fourth video. We got 26 more days of this. And I promise you, it's going to get juicy. It's, it's, it's going to get there. We're going to really like show out. Do what you need to do, man. I just told you what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'm out. Peace. <laughs>